Hey plant fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle. This is Tigress. Say hi. Hi plant fam! <laughs> and um, today we have a Hoya import to open, or I should say tonight. We have a Hoya import to open from China. This came from my home nature. I have never ordered from them before. This was just like, let's see. Let's see what happens, right? I do it so that you don't have to. I'm still waiting for this fan to kick off. It's gonna kick off soon. And then maybe I won't have to yell. So I am chilling. It's kinda late. We just did a live stream. So you guys should go and check that out if you want to, if you missed it. And uh, yeah, so David made me a golden milk. I'm gonna be sipping on that and we're gonna be opening up this box of Hoyas. There are 10 Hoyas in this box and I just like, I need you guys to like pray with me. Um, because this box feels squishy. Like I don't know how to explain it. It feels like somebody sat on it. It's just in a bag, like in a box, in a bag, like a regular ass package. So I'm a little bit concerned. <laughs> this was supposed to be here four days ago. It shipped like the 5th or 6th, I want to say, of June. And it was supposed to be here on the 8th. Like it was actually supposed to get here really quickly. And it is now the 13th. Okay. It was five days it was supposed to be here five days ago so I think it's been in the mail for like a week does that make sense mathematically I don't know but like I'm just guesstimating you guys <laughs> tired the fan is still on for some reason but that's fine I guess we'll just keep yelling so box of Hoyas I gotta figure out how to open this it's not packaged the way that I'm used to having it packaged for an import. I feel like it's, it's like, it looks like I ordered a box of shoes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Once I get this bag off, you'll see what I mean about the box being squished. Like. Squished. Like it looks like somebody sat on it. So, and like some of it feels like it was wet, so. None of these are good signs. Um, hopefully this isn't a depressing video. If it is, I'm probably gonna eat more of these so I can sleep without having nightmares about dead Hoyas. These are from Premium Jane. These are my THCO gummies. I like to take these to help with my anxiety and my stress. It helps chill me out. It doesn't make me tired the way that regular gummies do, but they also have Delta 9. These ones are half Delta 9, 10 milligrams and 10 milligrams of CBD. I ate them all already because they're really good. They taste really good. They're vegan. And um, I highly recommend. If you guys use CBD products or Delta 8, Delta 9, anything along those lines, check out their website, premiumjane.com. I have a discount code for you. I believe it's jungle, just jungle for 25% off. So check it out. They have topicals, they have bath bombs, they have CBD treats for your dog. Like they've got something for everybody. So definitely recommend Checking that out if you use cannabis plant the way that I do for stress and anxiety relief, which like I said, I may need after opening this box. So it's appropriate. I have them here because I was talking about them during the live. They sent me these products uh, for free, but this is not sponsored. I'm just reviewing it. I do make a small commission if you use 
my code, so I appreciate you if you do. These are actually packaged really cute, and I'm just hoping they're okay. But this paper is actually really cute. I'm trying to do this so you can like kind of see more of what I'm doing while I'm opening them. So, all right, they're labeled. They they don't feel firm, but they don't look rotten either. So. I think that's a, I think this, I think we're gonna be okay. Whew, yeah, let me take, let me take a sip of my turmeric. This is um, golden milk, if you guys have ever tried golden milk, it's like turmeric and some other spices and stuff. I really enjoy it at night, it helps. It's a really good anti-inflammatory. I like to um, just have some, helps me chill out, it's warm at night. Ooh, and it's hot. Okay. So this in this really cute paper that says authentic bakery. I love that this is all in English, even though it came from China. So it's like fireworks are going off. So yeah, this is the Hoya Incrustata Eclipse. So I have the moon shadow which is the variegation on the inside of the leaf, I think, yes. And this is the eclipse, which has the variegation on the outside of the leaves. Holy crap, these are huge, you guys. And they, act, they, they feel good, like they're not super firm, but overnight in water and they should perk right up i'll probably lose this one yeah this one that's fine this one might fall off as well but it looks okay oh my gosh it's really pretty i feel like it's it's hard to do this justice right now because i need to clean it up and get it hydrated um so I will probably actually show you guys what they look like in the morning after letting them sit in water all night and cleaning them up after all of this is said and done. So I'm going to get in here and look at these roots. I'm probably not going to do that for every single one, at least not in this video. I can show you them tomorrow, but I am curious just to see how they wrap it. So it was in plastic is pretty standard and then some sort of toilet paper which is also pretty standard and then there's oh there's moss in here okay it's not bare root it's got moss and that's gonna make it more difficult to see the roots unfortunately but I will take some of this off and see what we're working with okay 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 all right not a ton of roots, but we have roots and they look okay. They're dry, but that's to be expected. They were in the mail for a week, like significantly longer than they were supposed to be. Um, they were actually really quick to process the order too. I don't remember exactly when I ordered. I'll leave it on the screen, the date that I ordered and today is June 13th. So much faster than other imports that have taken like six weeks for them just to process the order never mind ship it so the first one's not bad not bad I'll probably sterilize this moss and reuse it I'm sure it's fine I just it came from another country so I just like to be careful so there is that all right what next we have a little baby one here this is the Hoya Multiflora Variegata. I David actually should finally shut the fan off so that it, you hopefully can hear me a little bit better now. I apologize for that. This here that I have next is the Hoya Multiflora Variegata. I kind of forgot some of the ones that I ordered if I'm going to be completely honest with you. So I'm excited to see some of these. I can't get over this packaging. It's really cute though. Like this paper is adorable. I like their labels. Seem like they're organized with the barcodes and everything. 
never a bad thing to have your uh, plants properly labeled as we learned in my last import unboxing which by the way they are resending me uh the correct hoyas if you remember they sent me what was supposed to be a Hoya Sarawak, it ended up being Latifolia, which worked out fine for some of you because I sold some of the cuttings off of that plant. Ooh! Okay. One leaf casualty on this one. She looks like a little tree. Oh, look at her! Oh my god, that's so cute. That's so cute. It's the elbow uh, marginata variegata I don't know there's so many so many words so yeah I'm not I don't I'm not gonna go through I'm gonna make a mess with all the moss and then it's 9 30 I, I want to get in bed soon so I don't want to have to clean up a mess so what I will do is show you guys all of this tomorrow I may keep most of them in moss probably I'm just, I'm curious now. <laughs> I'm gonna keep most of them in moss and uh, should be fine. So you do want to not put them in direct light after you get any plants in the mail. I put them in indirect light for a little while before putting them where I'm gonna put them because they have been in a box. Okay, so I just pulled off a little root, which is fine when it was dry. And uh, it's not super rooted. Uh, it looks yellow down here but it's firm and it's fine I can always get rid of that bottom node and reroute it a little bit further up since we do have quite a bit of stem here and it's pretty woody but it feels good it feels totally fine it's a tiny babe but it's really cute I have the regular green one. Oh, she's got new growth too I don't know if you can see in the middle there she's got some working on some new leaves which I would be very surprised if they actually survive but it seems fine so all right let's see what this big one on top here is hopefully it didn't get crushed I can't read the name <laughs> so it's just gonna have to be a surprise Handmade using high quality natural ingredients. We proudly offer fresh baked bread every day. I wonder where they got this paper from. Usually I get um, imports and they have paper from other countries in it. I'm not used to the plants coming from another country and having uh, English on the packaging of the paper so this one was a little wet in here it looks like one of the leaves like something rotted but otherwise the plant seems fine um I don't know what this one is I'll f I'll figure it out yeah some of these leaves here are rotted so I'm gonna have to take this one out and make sure it's good really quickly. This might be the Hoya Vitalina. Honestly, like I said, I don't remember everything that I ordered. I don't, so I don't actually remember what this is. I'm gonna have to look. I'll leave it on the screen for you in case I don't uh, remember. I think I'll be able to figure out once I have everything open what's miss like what's missing do you know what I mean so I just want to get this moss off of here so I can see where this rot goes to and it looks like the stems okay and it has actually some decent roots I think it was just those leaves might have gotten wet um, and this one will probably come off as well but you never know it might not it still feels firm so I'm gonna leave it but it has good roots. Good roots. I don't know what it is, but it's cute. I think there were a few that I ordered just because their balloons are pretty. So this could be one of those. And I don't actually, I don't actually remember, which is sad, isn't it? But in my defense, I did order them like weeks and weeks ago. 
So next we have the Hoya Pachyclita Variegata. I'm nervous about this one and apparently they were too because it has extra packaging. Oh my God, look at those leaves. Do you see those leaves? They're super cute um, because I've gotten even just the regular green one. I've had problems shipping even just in the States. They don't seem to be the best shippers. They bounce back. They're really fast growers, but they don't seem to ship that great, which is weird because they have thick leaves. Usually I associate like bad shipping Hoya with thinner leaf Hoya, but apparently they felt the same way because they like really wrapped this one up. <laughs> they did not want anything to happen to this one and I'm not mad about it. This is odd though. I've never seen this. It looks kind of like interesting. I might have to reuse that. It feels like styrofoam. Weird. Okay. I think we'll try and go this way with this one. Wow. Okay. This is freaking beautiful. Holy cow. It, it shipped pretty good. Okay. This leaf is damaged. Um, but that one, like it's, it's fine. These ones are fine. I mean, this one's broken, but it could have very well have been broken before. Look at it. Oh my God. <gasps> this is stunning. And I'm assuming the roots are going to be like meh, the kind of the same way the rest of them have been. So I'm not going to take them out right now just for the sake of not being here for 45 minutes I know you guys don't care but I want to get cozy in bed it's been a long day I had a bunch of stuff sell so I had to package up so many plants today which is good I appreciate you guys if you're not following me on Instagram you should definitely go and do that it's just at Jacqueline's dot jungle and I've been doing story sales for like, I've, I've kind of established that stories are good for quick cutting stuff, like fresh cuttings or semi-rooted stuff. And then kind of holding the more established plants back to put up on Etsy. Cause I know that not everybody has like a means to uh, pay with Instagram and or they don't know how and that's fine and some people just don't have Instagram and they prefer purchasing through Etsy which is fine it just costs a little bit more so by doing it on Instagram I try to offer it for you guys for at least a little bit cheaper so this is the Hoya I want to say lie lie l-y-i hey girl what are you doing just rubbing on the box um, this one I hadn't heard of, I may have seen it, but when I saw it, it was really cute. The blooms were really cute and I looked up what like the specimens look like when they get bigger and such on Instagram. I like to see other people's plants and I just really like the leaf shape and I think it's super cute. So this is a really long cutting. We have lost a couple of leaves, but that is to be expected when they've come from the other side of the world. But look at these little leaves. Aren't they cute? I know maybe it doesn't seem like anything special to you, but I like the shape of these. I like how they're kind of like round and then they get pointy. And they're like smooth, but they're thick and kind of fuzzy. They're not fuzzy, but they feel I don't know how to explain it. Like they're soft. They're a little fuzzy underneath. You'll be able to, we'll both be able to see better tomorrow morning. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And it's a really nice long vine. So these like little baby leaves down here didn't make it, but that's to be expected. Hopefully this whole vine doesn't die back. Sometimes that happens, it might go. A little woody at the end at the ends and then I um, will cut them so the leaves feel nice and firm they feel good so I don't feel like worried about the roots 
for having to reroute these. Like I kind of expect, you should expect if you're planning on importing plants to have to reroute them and to have some leaf casualties and just be happy if you have some plant that you can get growing. You know what I mean? Like it's rare to get perfect plants when you import. It does happen, but it doesn't happen often. So that's just the reality of it. That's why I have a whole entire import playlist. If you want to see the good, the bad, the in-between, you can check that out. Next. We have the Hoya, oh, I don't know how to say this. I've wanted this one for a long time and it's it's a beautiful big leaf Hoya or they can get big and sun stressed. Hoya Quin, Quinervia. Quin, Quinervia, I don't know. I'm sure if you're a Hoya collector, you've heard of it and you are probably laughing at me for <laughs> butchering the name but it's fine. I'll figure it out eventually. I just haven't been watching that many um, like Hoya videos. I need to watch more people talk about their Hoyas so that I can hear how they say things. Okay, so these two big leaves are kind of yellowing, which is sad because they're the biggest, but the rest of it looks fine. And we've got some like pretty decent size plants going here. This one can get really big. It probably just looks, I don't know, like a latifolia or an aldrichii or something along those lines, one of the BPs with the veining, but the leaves are a darker green and you can see like the veining in between the veining, if that makes sense, which I enjoy. And then um, they get really big, which you can tell these aren't even very big, but they are much bigger than the rest of the plant and they will get really beautifully sun stressed which is something that I love in a Hoya I mean who doesn't so but these don't feel these still feel firm they're just yellowing a little bit so they're not rotting which is normal they've been in a box from China again <laughs> remember that um, so I'm not worried about the roots and stem on that one either Woo! <laughs> There's three more, four, there's four more. <sighs> Breathe, okay. No, okay. <sighs> I really hope this one is good. I saw this one and I hadn't heard of it and it looked, it looked beautiful. And, and I was like, I have to have that. And obviously wanna be able to share these with you guys, which is why it's good that they're larger specimens so that I won't cry about having to cut off one of the two leaves that I have. This is the Hoya Vitalina Bloom. I don't know what the bloom means. From what I have seen on Instagram, people tend to, and the pictures that they had on their website, people tend to call this one the Hoya Vitalina Splash, I think, because their pictures of it looked splashy. And a regular Hoya Vitalina, Vitalina, Vitalina I don't know isn't splashy so we don't know exactly this one's double packed as well so they definitely wanted to protect this one it was one of the more pricey ones for sure i did pay for these myself by the way sometimes people think that i got them for free you guys this thing is huge do you see how big these leaves are Holy crap, holy. Okay, let's figure out how to get this off of here without damaging anything. It, it feels nice and firm. Like whatever, they, whatever they're doing here, like they're doing it right. They are doing it. It's hard to tell if they're dirty or splashy. Oh no, I see splash. Looks like green like a lighter green splash of side. Let me show you. So this is the Hoya Vitalina Bloom, B-L-U-M-E. I've not seen anything listed like that. They're dirty. I need to clean these up for sure. But you can see some of the splashing in this leaf. 
kind of. I have to clean it off and then you'll be able to tell better. This is really not doing it any justice. These leaves are massive. And this new tendril looks happy. It's even got like little new leaf buds, which is insane. None, none of the leaves look like they're going to fall off of this one. This thing is huge. <laughs> what is this? You guys. Mind blown. My mind is blown. These actually came recommended. This company came recommended to me by my friend Liz. So thank you girl for recommending it. She had a good experience with them. So I was like, screw it. Let's see what happens, you know, cause why not after receiving a bunch of dead plants or incorrectly labeled plants, why not just spend a couple hundred dollars on a company you've never even heard of before coming from China. Okay. This is the Hoya 073. This is the Hoya AH 073. I have the OH OH 07 0 074. Why do they have to do this with the with the numbers? It's very confusing. And that one's like silvery. So this one I think is just splashy. Oh my god. You guys, do you, do you see these leaves? They look like Wilbur Graves. That is insanity. They, they like all look like that. Look, I'm trying to get it to focus. <laughs> That's crazy. You guys, even these little baby ones, look at it. Maybe they had it incorrectly labeled. It's not as silvery as my 074. And the picture didn't look this silvery. I really thought it was just going to be splashy, but I was like, screw it. Let's see what it looks like. It's so big. Look at it. And it wasn't expensive. And it's alive. It's not just alive, it's like happy and healthy. <sighs> you guys. <sighs> I like wanna cry right now, but I don't wanna be dramatic. I'm already being dramatic, but like seriously, you need to go check out my home nature. As they're, they don't know that I'm filming this video. I literally just ordered because I wanted to. So like, I don't have any affiliation with them, but you need to go run to their website. I am 100% gonna be ordering from them again. They had amazing prices, really fast processing and shipping and like, hello. These are big specimens for a really good price. I think the, the Vitalino is the most expensive one that I got and it none of these were were what I would consider expensive for a Hoya I spent 250 200 dollars on like three leaves you know so my idea of what's expensive is different than other people's idea of what's expensive okay this one I'm excited about this is the Hoya Bella I think it's called Louis boy if I'm saying that wrong, please correct me. But I'm excited for this one and I'm sure you guys are too. These are not just for me, don't forget that. They are also to share with you. So I um, have lots of stuff that's growing, lots of rare Hoyas that will be available as soon as I'm able to cut them. The good thing about these being larger specimens, like I said before, I will be able to cut them much sooner, as soon as they've acclimated and I feel like they're ready to be cut and propagate a few pieces. So the Hoya Bella tends to be pretty delicate, so I'm a little nervous. 
but as long as I have some healthy plant to work with here, I'll be satisfied. So this is a variegated Bella. I have the regular green one. I do have cuttings of that available. She's looking a little bit sad at the top, but these leaves in the middle here look okay. This new growth is just, this is gonna fall off here, but you can see these leaves here actually look really fine. Some of these down here might come off, but we'll have plenty of nodes in the middle. It's a little half and half leaf. You guys, this is so cute. I like the inner variegated one more than the outer variegated one. That tends to be a theme with me for majority of Hoyas. Not always, but it, I tend to gravitate more towards the inner variegation than the outer variegation. So I chose this one over the Anarchy Boys. Boy, boy, I don't know how you're supposed to say it, but it's the opposite. So it's like, al it's an Albo Marginata. I don't know why they don't just call it elbow marginata but it's fine so not mad about that one okay we have one left and then maybe i'll be able to identify that one i know there's one that i randomly bought that wasn't maybe it's pot ci yeah 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 i think this is pot ci because i bought it, i bought it because it was like 20 bucks you guys so this is not like a super special hoya but it's cute i just like how cute these green smooth leaves are so that's potsy eye that's the only one that we haven't got a label on because this is the hoya bermanica and this has been on my list for a while i don't think i've included it in a wish list video i might have can't get over this paper okay we've lost a couple of leaves again which is fairly normal um but yeah look at these Ooh, she cute look at her <gasps> she's gonna make a stunning stunning trailing hoya that i would love to keep like my own in my own personal collection a little piece of this for me and she looks really healthy really healthy everything looks really good I'm, I'm shocked and delighted. I don't think I've used that word like ever in my life. So like that's, I just don't know how else to express it. Like this is, this is crazy, you guys. So yeah, that is all 10 of my Hoyas. I don't remember exactly um, how much I paid for all of these. <sighs> I want to say close to like 300 maybe somewhere around there. I, I will let you guys know because I know sometimes people ask and I'm not trying to hide it. It's just like it's weird to talk about like how much you paid for things and I honestly sometimes don't remember. So it wasn't like a for me anyway, that's about how much I tend to spend on import orders um, is a few hundred dollars, give or take. And that's exactly what I spent on this one for 10 plants. I mean, 10 plants, you guys. And they freaking came looking like this. I would have spent that much on a plant like just this and none of the other ones. My Wilbur Graves was one leaf for $50. My AH074 is two leaves, and I think I paid $100. This one, I, I don't even know how much I paid for this one. It was I, not a lot of money. Not a lot of money at all. That's absolute insanity. I don't, I don't know what to do with myself. Uh, I gotta, I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. This is insane. I'm not even gonna be able to sleep now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to take more of these so I can sleep. Like I can't. Whew, 
check out my home nature i will link them for you guys down below if you are into importing plants i know it can be hard to find a good hoya importer and girl i think i found one we're gonna have to place another order in a couple of months and see how that comes to be like sure sure you know but so far my friend got a good order i got a good order that's two good orders that came relatively quickly for not a lot of money so and you can just go directly on the website and order you don't have to wait to email anybody and you know stuff like that so i'm not mad about it i am gonna go for now i will see you guys in the morning i will show you what these look like all cleaned up and in some natural light i feel like the ring light doesn't do it any justice so i uh we'll see you guys in the morning not at all looking like this i'm gonna look like a mess but it's fine okay okay hey fam it is the next day it is not the morning it is later in the day it took me a little while to get these things done i just wanted to quickly give you a little bit of an update since i was pretty tired last night everything is still looking good i've got it all moved into moss and everything should be nice and rehydrated most of these had roots some decent roots but some of them didn't really have much at all so i put all of them in moss like literally every single one this thing is huge the leaves are like kind of damaged but you can see the splash better now so i'm excited to see what this one is gonna do in my care so lots of fun babes that was the vitalina this is the variegated pachycleta here i have the ah i'm pretty sure this is 074 you guys do you see this variegation it's like stunning and i'm obsessed it was labeled like i said as 073 but i literally cannot find that plant on the internet anywhere so i think that that was mislabeled because i have the 074 silver and i have one that's low splash and this one's kind of like in between so i don't know and then we have the variegated bella this is the louis louis bois louis boy i honestly i don't know how you're supposed to say this it, it looks french i don't do french so there's that this is the hoya lie look at these cute little leaves they're adorable and it's a nice long vine we have lost a couple more leaves in the process of just getting these situated but that's okay that's to be expected and totally normal this is the hoya potsii I think I still didn't check but I'm almost positive that's the only one that I ordered that wasn't labeled it has cute little splash on the leaves I don't know if you could see it but I really like this plant I think it's super cute and then I have here the Hoya Bermanica I kind of just like left it trailing for now because I don't know what to do with it I'll probably stake it up I don't think it wants to trail it just kind of is flopped over like that so this is the Hoya Incrustata Eclipse so the moon shadow again is the one with the variation on the inside the eclipse is the variation on the outside so look how pretty that is you could see them much better in this light I'm going to show them to you up close at the end of this video as well variegated multiflora looking cute as heck and then last but not least we have the one that i can't say and it looks a lot better now that it's cleaned up it's the hoya quin quinervia i wrote it on the cup so i'm trying to read it quin quinervia i don't know but it's cute these leaves get really big and sun stressed so do not let this fool you give it some time and it is going to be stunning so that's it that's all of them and um that's it for this video i hope that you enjoyed this this order has literally brought me 
an insane amount of joy. Like I could barely even get settled in last night because I was so excited about these plants and the happiness has carried over into today. I can't stop staring at them. I'm glad that they're all cleaned up. I used, um, I don't measure, but I used a little bit of alcohol, a little bit of Castile soap and a teeny tiny little pinch of neem oil in a bottle with some warm water shake it up spray the leaves down and then i have a microfiber cloth that i wipe them with to get those hard water stains off the leaves so that you can actually see them so something happened to this guy when the leaves were unfurling that make them kind of look like that but imagine this with this beautiful splash and these massive leaves I can't wait. It looks like it has like little new growth nubs up here. I'm trying to get it to focus by putting it on my forehead. Um, so I'm excited. Gonna throw these in the greenhouse, just not yet. They were in a box for about a week, so they can't go into direct sun. And that is the case for any plant mail. Do not put it directly in the sun or under a grow light for like a couple of days. So that's my story i uh don't really have much else to say besides you guys should absolutely go check out my home nature i will leave everything you need to know in the description box and um i'm 100 percent going to be ordering from them again probably not until september because it's going to be really hot soon it already is getting really hot so don't want to risk melting my hoyas in the mail I think that's it so if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me join the official plant fam if you want to be part of the group chat on instagram always enjoy adding new people to the chat come on over join the family and there is a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me not just like a regular thanks it's a super thanks so that's an option too if you want to support my channel without having to do it every single month so that is it i appreciate you fam and i hope i see you in the next one